Ciao, my name is Riccardo and I find myself in this beautiful area between Piemonte and Liguria. Hi, my name is Virginia and today I am in a beautiful area between Piemonte and Liguria. Today we want to show you undiscovered Italian treasures hidden in the city of Ceva. And today we want to show you undiscovered Italian treasures to be found in the city of Ormea. What? Virginia, where are you? We were supposed to meet in Ceva. No! I just got to Ormea! Riccardo, this is your fault! Look! Would you call this a map? Come on, it couldn't be easier. Easy? Listen, do you think I'm stupid? Okay, okay, uh, calm down. So, what do we do now? You know what? Today is the Independence Travel Day. Bye-bye, my dear. No, wait. Trust me, folks, you'd better come with me. Today I'm in Ormea, close to Ceva and Cuneo, and this area is called Alta Valtanaro. The characteristic of the mountains that surround the city are the marble quarries, where they extract the black marble quarries, used by many artists. As you can see, Ormea is surrounded by uncontaminated landscapes. Here you can spend your time doing many different activities, like rock climbing, fishing, trekking, mountain bike excursions. Martino Square. He is the protector of the city. And this is the church dedicated to him. The 10th century Campanile, originally it was a protective tower to control all the valley from the entrance of enemies. Street is the heart of the city where all the commerce take place. Here you can find different kinds of Italian products like honey, fruit and many other typical products of this area. Shall we have a look?
This is the Madonna degli Angeli, Madonna of Angels, an ancient chapel of the 19th century. Let's enter. But how many Madonnas are hidden in the medieval or Mea's alleys? <laughs> So, next stop. I don't understand the job. <laughs> Ricardo, what a bangler you are! Person, 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 yeah. 